Dr. Diana Cardenas, a professor and chair of the Department of Rehabilitation Medicine at the University of Miami. And I'm here at the APS presenting a poster on a very large randomized controlled trial of uh, pregabalin for neuropathic pain in persons with spinal cord injury. And this study um, was uh, sponsored by Pfizer. It's a study that has, um, was done in 10 countries and had multiple, many, many patients enrolled uh, and spread across all these different co countries, which also was spread across different cultures, which I think is really great because it wasn't just set in one particular uh, location. And the patients were randomized to either receive the active drug, uh, the dose was uh, increased over the first week, and uh, eventually the patient was put on a stable dose, and it, the doses varied from 150 uh, milligrams up to 600 milligrams per day. These were, these were VID dosing, so it would have been like 75 milligrams uh, twice a day, and all the way up, depending on their response, or placebo. And <clears throat> patients were asked about their pain uh, on a rating scale, the typical um, 0 to 10 scale, and had other measures taken related to sleep, uh, interference, as well as to a global impression of change. And all of this um, information was, of uh, course, analyzed statistically, and um, these patients were typical spinal injury in that the, uh, most of them were males, uh, 85%, uh, 80, 75 to 85% males. And they had different uh, uh, Asian pyramid scale ratings. Uh, so, but about half of them had complete spinal cord injuries. Uh, the pain had to be below the level of the injury. They could have pain at as well as above, but they had to have pain below the level of the injury. And these figures here just show the different responses. And we did find significance uh, in terms of the uh, effectiveness of the drug. 30% yeah, responders or 50% responders. And uh, we also found improvements in global impression of change and by the end of the study, uh, and also a change in um, pain-related sleep interference. The study went on for 17 weeks, uh, and there were um, not really too many uh, adverse events or side effects, and none that were not in line with what's usually found with uh, pregabalin, which has been used for a very long time. So. Um, uh, this is great because, to me, as a clinician, uh, this is the second study that's shown effectiveness of this uh, medication. So hopefully it will become approved by the FDA at some point so that we can uh, make sure everybody's aware that this is a, an indication for this medication. This is a very challenging uh, pain problem to treat. And I've been treating patients for 36 years, and I can just say, still trying to find a good solution. And this is just one uh, tool that we have uh, in the treatment of pain and spinal cord injury. Thank you.